technical difficulty is going to keep us away. So, sorry we are late. As you guys know, our live stream somehow disappeared. And then it was a crazy show around here. So, anyhow, welcome to another Thursday Night Live. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know my day is stressful and my fingers bleeding everywhere, so I have to put a band-aid on. But my name is Desiree. My daughter behind the scenes is running the show for us. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please let us know so we can welcome you in the comments below. So today we are going to talk about if you don't stop, you're going to get blood on you. Stop. We're going to talk about what is safe to give your dog on Thanksgiving. So I know a lot of us want to give our dog special treats because it's a special day. So we're going to talk about all of that good stuff and go over all kinds of fun, fun things. But before we do all that, I wanted to go over a quick few housekeeping rules. If you guys are new, please make sure that you uh, put three question marks before your questions in the comments there so that we don't miss those questions. And we ask that you please stay on the topic with your questions unless you guys are going to do a super chat or a super sticker. If you do that, you can jump to the top of the question list and you can ask any questions you want. So it's not um, necessarily just the stop eating my lace, not just the topic at hand. Um, if you're not familiar with super chat, super stickers, it's donation money that goes back into our program and then we share any of the things that we get for the puppies with you guys so that you know what you should or should not buy. Um, and um, if you haven't already, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up and what else? Subscribe if you haven't. All right. I know you guys are dying. We're giving away some items. We're going to give away a calendar and a mask today. Um, let's see, I got them here buried under these things. We're gonna give away a calendar for 2021, of course, and a gator mask. I don't know where all of you guys are, but we are here in Southern California and we've just been told we're getting shut down again. So fun, fun, fun. Everyone's going to need a mask for probably the next year. I got to get my stuff over here. Um, Lex, do you have any questions for me? No, ma'am. Okay. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, Papa. Come on. These, I know you guys want to know who's puppies, who's puppies. Um, These are Skye's puppies and Kiara's puppy and we got Nala and we have Kira in here because they can't be left without, huh? They want some turkey treats. All right. Okay. I got to keep going kiddos. Um, so Nala, this is why I don't have you in here all the time. We have fan mail guys. We have fan mail. We're going to open that here in a little bit. Um, and thank Ashley for sending that to us. So we'll open that shortly, but I know there's such a lot of things that on my list here that I have to get through. We have new puppies that we are going to announce. Yes, I said puppies for all of you guys wanting to know. And um, we have to name them, of course. Um, stop, would you stop chewing me? Stop. All right, let's get started because I'm gonna get all sidetracked. Um, I have a quick question. Sure. Um... Lindsay said, shut down again. Does that mean flights too? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I was just told that they just announced that it's getting shut down again. And uh, thank you for the super chat, Sue. She said, is Rue pregnant? <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. Um, we just bred her, so it's way too early to know for sure um, anything at this point, but hopefully, 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 fingers crossed. Come on, little man, come on, get up here. Uh, anything else? No, you're good. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, my little baby. And then Yvonne sent us a sticker earlier, so thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Yvonne. All right, so what do you guys think? Can dogs eat our stuffing? Can they eat our turkey? Can they eat our cranberry sauce? Can they eat our pumpkin pie? Hmm. <laughs> um, all right, so wait, 
Yeah. Andrea says, hi, I'm Ashley. I don't know how to say their last name. Yeah. Ashley's mom, she sent you the package yes. you're about to open. Yes, she did. Hopefully she's on. Maybe we should do that real fast. What do you guys think? Should we do it so the puppies can see what it is? Yeah. All right. And then I have, a, I have a question again. Let's do it. Let's open it. I should have got scissors. While you do that, I have a question. Does Hey, honey, can you have me scissors? Does California lockdown halt the puppy list? I hope this question makes sense. I'm from Washington State. <laughs> I'm on your list. Um, well, I mean, most people that are on the list, if they've been waiting a while for a puppy from us, they're going to do whatever they have to do to get a puppy, which means um, come in, drive in, that type of thing. We, we currently have a new order that we have to curfew, I guess, but it's not going to stop people. They're going to still get their puppies. It's just we aren't shipping um, at this point because of everything, and so uh, most people just drive in or they fly themselves. That might be a problem, but you want this? Oh my goodness, it's a wobble wad giggle. Shake me. What do you think, Nah? Should we open it? Um, I know Rue's going crazy, honey. You can let her over here too. <laughs> Liz said Liz said, I'm not letting Newsom tell me I can't get my puppy. If he can go to the French Laundry for dinner, I can get my puppy. That's right. Uh, hi, Ruru. And then Fabiana said, already got my route planned if I have to drive. <laughs> okay. Here, honey, I'm going to give you this, and then I'll, uh, I'll read the directions. Or maybe you can see if we have to do anything. Kira's interested. Thank you, Ashley. We will keep it out right here, and we'll see what the puppies do with it. Can you see what that says? Thank you. Um, all right. I know. I got distracted. Oh. What? Jocelyn adopted Bo from Julie. Yeah, I know. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. They're waiting until February to let him adjust. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so back to my question. Can dogs eat turkey? So the short answer, or the quick answer is yes. And no. So toxic, they can eat turkey. It's not toxic, right? In fact, a lot of dog foods have a main ingredient as turkey. The difference is, is that those ingredients that are made inside a, um, that's Diamond Lex. You're going to have to get her. Yeah, and, um. So it's kind of chaotic here because everything got shut down. So guess what? We didn't do anything that we were supposed to do because we were too busy trying to get everything reset. So it's going to be a little crazy today. I apologize in advance. That's what I get for not saving anything before I post it. And then I had to go try to recreate it. Okay, okay, I see you. I gotta focus, I gotta focus. Um, so all of the dog food companies, obviously, they're using plain um, turkey, plain meats. They're not seasoning it, they're not basting it, they're not loading it with butter, they are not keeping all of the fats in there, and so there's a big difference between what is in our dog food versus what is on our human plate and what's in our oven. So yes, you can give your dog turkey, however, if it is turkey um, that we are going to eat and it's fully seasoned, I would recommend that either you dig down into the meat, the heart of the meat of this bird and get the stuff that doesn't have any seasonings or get them their own little piece of chicken turkey breast that you're going to bake or cook for them that doesn't have anything. It's just plain Jane. I know for us, you think, God, that's yucky. They're not going to enjoy that. But trust me, dogs taste buds are very, very different than our taste buds. And so what we think is good isn't necessarily what they think is good. And trust me, any turkey breast um, that is plain, they are going to love. So if you are going to do that, that's my recommendation. But 
what I love to do is not even give them the turkey at all. So if you guys get a whole turkey, um, inside that turkey, if you're new to cooking a turkey, don't do the mistake that some people do. Inside the, the butt of that turkey is a bag. You gotta pull that bag out and inside that bag is the turkey neck, the gizzards, the, the um, liver, that type of stuff. So all of that can be given to your dog and it can be given to them raw. Literally, you take it out of the bag, don't do anything with it, set it aside or put it in the fridge. And then when it's turkey time and everyone is eating, give your dog that turkey neck. Now remember, it's raw. So you don't want them roaming through your house with it. You don't want them to be able to just let it roll all over. Um, so put them in a confined space or in their crate, somewhere where you can keep it clean um, and clean afterwards. Hi, baby. Um, but that is the best thing for you to do. That's what we do. Now, of course, we have too many dogs, so it's always the dog who is either nursing puppies and um, is on the skinny side, or if we don't have that, then whoever's pregnant and gets the extra, because obviously a turkey neck, you can't split up. But you can buy turkey necks, if you guys aren't aware of this. You can buy turkey necks, um, even chicken necks, um, from the grocery stores and from the butchers and freeze them and give them to your dogs. It is raw, there's bones in there. They can eat it whole, it's not going to hurt them. It's very, very full of nutrients for your dog. All right, going on. Quick question. Yes. Should we feed them any human food even on holidays? <laughs> From Tanya. Kira. Oh, that's not Kira, that's Nola. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not going to kill them. But just remember that once you start doing something like that, your dog can become picky. Um, they can decide that they don't want to eat their kibble or that they want to be beggars and um, stubborn. All kinds of things can be um, attributed to feeding your dog human food. So just be aware of that and it should be tiny, tiny pieces um, and definitely not at your table. So you don't want to give it to them right off of your plate or right off of your dinner table because that's definitely going to invite them um, to do it more often. And that is the problem I have with this one right here because I have a very stubborn child who thinks that it's great to feed her from his plate. And so I'm not gonna name any names, but it's a boy and his name starts with me. Huh. So uh, yeah, she's a problem every time. Every night when we eat dinner, first thing she does is start crying or runs to the table to get our food. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna keep going, okay? Um, I have another question. Okay, go ahead. Shayna said, are these the puppies that were in the incubator when I visited? Mm, yeah, the two, the two babies. Yeah, Skye's puppies. So for those of you that don't know, and it was all like, I had everything else filled out before whatever happened with YouTube. Um, Shayna is an editor and she made a visit uh, about a month ago, five weeks ago, and um, did a quick little interview on us and the, the home, the dogs. And she wrote an article on um, getting a dog during the pandemic and, you know, the consequences and what to be aware of and stuff. And so she did a really cool um, article and I'm going to share that with all of you now that I have to redo everything. But yeah, so she did that and she came out, she took some pictures. Hi. All right, we good? Yep. Okay. Oh, you're being a good girl, Kira. So Kira's doing really good with her training. Oh, she's doing really good. Can you give her a Oh, Nala. Jealous butt. All right, so um, a couple of things. Can we give them the stuffing? Can we give them your cranberry sauce? Can we give them mashed potatoes? Um, a few of those things you could, preferably not. Keep in mind, onions, um, garlic are not good for your dog. So you want to stay away from your stuffing. You want to stay away from regular mashed potatoes. There's no nutrients in those. It's just full of carbs. So they're not even that great for us, right? But we all love them with gravy. That's another thing. 
gravy. Stay away from all of that. If you guys want to give them a mixture of the sweet potatoes, right, or the cranberries, you can. And I'm going to come up and tell you guys I have a whole list of things, and I'm going to have to dump it back into the, um, the YouTube description. But there's a bunch of things that you can make to put in their palm which will include sweet potatoes, which will include turkey, which will include cranberries, um, carrots, vegetables, those types of things. And so if you plan ahead and you make that the day before and you throw it in the freezer, then that's an awesome way for your dog to enjoy a Kong for a while, right? Like a good 30, 45, even an hour sometimes, depending on your dog. Um, while you guys are trying to enjoy your Thanksgiving dinner, your puppy can still be enjoying his without being at your table and without eating all of the ingredients that are in all of the products that we eat. And so I'm gonna go through that as well as what items you can and what items you should not give to um, your puppy, any dog, whether it's a click high or any dog. Um, and so, let's see. Um, of course, I'm not a vet, okay, so keep that in mind. I'm not a veterinarian, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm just giving you guys my opinion and what I suggest, but that doesn't mean my answers are always the right answers. Um, okay, another alternative, like I said with the turkey necks, is to get them um, the farmer's dog food. So I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but there's a relatively new company. It's called the Farmer's Dog, and um, it is all human-grade meats, and they'll mail it to you directly to your house. Um, it's already pre-portioned, pre-cooked. Everything is ready to go, and it has... <laughs> It has um, human grade meats and vegetables in there. And so that's another option. Like if you want to give your dog something different, something special for that day, then do something like that. That way you don't have to cook another meal just for your dog or um, cut a piece of your turkey off just for them and worry about what's on it. Do something like that. The other option, where are those? those did you get that meaty bone left? No, I didn't. Sorry. Oh, I forgot. Wow. There, it's over there. So I've talked about before about the um, the real meaty bones. So those are real meat bones that are raw, packaged, or you can even get them from your butcher directly and give them something like that. We do that at Christmas time. It's hilarious. Like last year, Simba was still young and he had this big, big cow bone carrying it around the yard. Um, but some Kong recipes. Let's talk about that real fast. Um, you can do, these are simple guys, really simple. And you don't need a big Kong. So you can make a few different Kongs um, at one, in one of these recipes and throw them in the freezer. So you could do a cup of, of ground turkey, okay? Um, a half a cup of shredded carrots, and then a half a cup of cream cheese, which is low fat cream cheese. And you're gonna mix this all up together, just mix it in a bowl and stuff it in Kongs. Throw it in the freezer. Another is gonna be a half cup of cooked turkey with no seasonings. So none of your meat's gonna have seasonings for your dogs. Um, so cooked turkey and then um, sweet potatoes. So mashed sweet potatoes, preferably over regular russet potatoes. And then um, you can do like a quarter cup of frozen peas or carrots and shove all, mix it all together, shove all of that in a Kong and freeze it. One trick on the Kongs is on the bottom part of the Kong, um, and I think my Kongs are all over there. There's a little hole in the bottom of the Kong. If you put something in the bottom, like they have regular peanut butter, of course, unsweetened um, organic um, peanut butter that you could put in there, or the Kong sells a little spray bottle of or tube of it that you could put in it. It just is kind of a thick gooey and it, it actually seals it so all of the liquids don't fall out while it's freezing. So you could do something like that. But um, if you can't do that or you don't have it, then just tip it on its side. Don't fill it all the way. Tip it on its side when you put it in the freezer. Another one is um, fresh peas. So you could do a half a cup of peas, a half a cup of shredded carrots, a half a cup of shredded zucchini, and then a half a cup of brown rice. Now that one has no meat, but that one's a lot of vegetables and brown rice. That's perfectly fine. Nothing's going to hurt your dog with that. Um, let's see. Oh, here's a fun one. Um, four to five whole baby carrots. Now, depending on the size of the Kong that you have, like we have some big Kongs, but we also have some little ones. So obviously you're not gonna fit as many big carrots um, in as you would a bigger Kong. So it's just gonna depend on what size Kong you have 
Um, and then a cup of pumpkin puree. You want to give your dog pumpkin pie. Here you go. A cup of pumpkin puree, um, uns a half a cup of unsweetened cranberries. So they can have whole cranberries, um, but just make sure they're unsweetened. Um, and it doesn't have to be um, only fresh. So they could have regular cran <laughs> cranberries or they could have the dried cranberries as well. Either one is fine and totally healthy for your dogs. And then one cup of applesauce. Mix all of that together and now they have their own pumpkin pie dessert. Hi, baby girl. Um, okay, instead of using sweet potatoes, like say you don't want to cook a sweet potato in the microwave and mash it up and that's not something you're having, then you can buy, this is the easiest trick, go buy the baby food. So if you just go buy the organic little jars of baby food, it's basically pureed sweet potatoes and peas and things like that. You can buy those instead and put that in the Kong instead of having to make a sweet potato. Uh, let's see. There's more, but that you guys get the gist of it on the Kongs. Again, I will put these back up on as soon as I can. Probably won't be until tomorrow. But that way you guys don't have to make all of these notes. Um, so real quickly, let's go over some fruits and vegetables that are and are not safe for your dog. Apples, yes, they can have apples, just not the core and make sure that there's no seeds in there because you don't want your dog to um, get a seed stuck or the core obviously stuck and have any type of um, digestive problems. And avocados are a no. Okay, so no avocados, even though they're amazing for us, no for dogs. Bananas, yes, they can have bananas. They can have blueberries. They can have cantaloupe. No on the cherries. They can have cranberries. And let's see. They can, oh, you're so pretty. This is so pretty. Uh, cucumbers, surprisingly enough, cucumbers are good for dogs. Not every dog likes cucumbers, but they'll eat them. Um, grapes are a big no-no. Remember, grapes are a no-no. Raisins are a no-no. They're toxic to dogs. Um, no matter the breed, the age, the size, you don't give them grapes. Mangoes are good. Oranges are good. Although, I don't know many dogs that are going to eat oranges, but some might. Um, peaches, pears, pineapple, raspberries are all a yes. Strawberries are a yes. Tomatoes. No, don't give your dog tomatoes. Um, they have a toxic substance on them, so you don't want them eating that. Uh, watermelon is a yes. All right, vegetables. Asparagus, no. Brussels sprouts, yes. <laughs> Nala, Rue. Oh, it's just Rue and the puppy. Uh, Brussels sprouts are a yes. Carrots are a yes. Celery. Yes. Green beans. Yes. Okay, so this one right here likes to bake and sit at our table every single night. So I thought it would be funny if I said, well, here, fine. Take a green bean, thinking she wouldn't eat it. They ate it. They made a weird little, but she ate it. Oh, was my iPad on sound? I think oh, so. probably. Because, um, let me turn that off. You guys don't care about that, do you? Hi. Maybe. Okay. I don't know why it's not going. It's fine. Hi, babies. We're almost done with this. Spinach is a yes. You can give them spinach. Um, okay. Do you have questions? Um, I do... One is not on topic, but... Okay. Um, you can go ahead with them, though. Okay. That's fine. Robert said, um, how often do pre care require physical activity? <laughs> every day. <laughs> I mean, every day they... No, stop fighting. Um, they are an active breed, and they enjoy being active with their owners. Um. So it's definitely part of their daily routine. It doesn't have to be long um, hikes or anything like that, but they do require exercise often. Um, 
for us, we're very fortunate that there's multiple, so they keep each other occupied and tired by just chasing and playing with each other. But they require mental and physical exercise daily. Next. Um, that was it. Wait, are you sure? You said one wasn't. Oh, sorry. I thought I asked this one. I was, sorry. <laughs> Can you feed dogs anything with sugar? No, you should not. You should avoid sugar and xylitol for sure. Um, so you don't want to give them anything that's sweetened. And all would be nice. Sorry, I thought I read that one already for some reason. Okay. But you're good now. Okay. Um, hey, be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Kira, you're sitting pretty. I feel like I'm missing a page on my thing, though. All I did was pull it off the printer. I know. Sorry, guys. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. So, no oils, no seasonings. That means no salt, no pepper, um, no butter, no fat on the turkey. So, if you are going to give them your turkey piece, make sure there's no skin. Um, even though a lot of us like the skin of it, it's not good for our dogs. No stuffing, no onions, no garlics, no herbs um, for our dogs. So, like, for us, we love that, right? Like, it's so delicious. But for our dogs, it's a recipe for <laughs> um, a very unpleasant digestive uh, upset stomach, right? Or pancreatic pancreatitis at the worst um, because anything that's really high in fat content is a, um, a risk for having your dog get pancreatitis. Rue, those just came in and you're stealing it already. Uh, Shana has a question. Okay. Will the pups here be minis? Oh yeah, some are going to be toys, um, except for this guy, my little monster. Uh, one's a standard for sure. He's a ginormous baby. And then there's a few toys and possibly minis. Hi, handsome. You good? Yeah, you're good. All right. Um, I think that's it. Oh, bones. I wanted to talk about bones. Okay, so turkey bones. There's a lot of different bones that are in the turkey. Um, and are they safe to give your dogs? The answer is no. So you don't want to give your dog any cooked bones um, because once you cook the bone, um, of course the meat with the bone, the bone becomes very brittle and splinters very easily. So although I'll encourage you to give something raw, I will not encourage you, even if it has a bone, I will not encourage you to give them anything with a um, bone that is cooked. It's, it has the reverse effect and you're going to ask for problems. You guys are crazy. Um, so stay away from giving your pets any bones that are cooked. I know back in the day when I was young, it was like, oh, well, throw them your chicken bone, throw them your pork chop bone. Um, and people did it all the time, but it's definitely a hazard for your dog. So don't do that. Make sure that during Thanksgiving, Chocolate is huge, right? We all want desserts and chocolates and oatmeal raisin cookies, which are very toxic to dogs. Make sure that if you do have family in the home and you guys are enjoying your Thanksgiving, that nobody is either dropping stuff or sneaking things to the dogs because I know a lot of kids love to share um, and it could be a pretty scary situation and you don't want to end up at the emergency on Thanksgiving. Um, I, I think that's it for this topic. Hi. Hi. Do we have any questions with regards to Thanksgiving um, before I open up these fun, yummy treats and show you guys what we got the doggies? Uh, 
everything's kind of off topic. Uh, Yvonne said, are those puppy weight calculators for adult size pretty accurate? Puppy weight calculators? This is full text. Are those puppy weight calculators for adult size pretty accurate? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Yvonne. Online calculators. Oh. Got me. I don't know. Um, I don't use those, so I'm not sure what they are. But if you can share it with me, I can look into it a little bit. <laughs> you guys know what's here, huh? Huh? Um, are you good? Yeah, you're good. Okay, look at what I got the doggies. I'm going to Hold on. Can you get down? i got to show everybody what you guys got. Nope. Here's the toy. All right, so we got them. Let me turn this light on. We got them some. I opened it before I showed it to you guys. Holiday turkey and sweet potato. What? What? And then look at this. We got them turkey and cranberry treats. I know. You guys can see if they like them or not. Hold on, I got a little baby right here. I need to move. Huh? I think this glows in the dark. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you, Natasha. Oh, she got her hoodie. Um, Catherine got her hoodie too. Hey, sit down. They don't want to see your butts. No, they don't. Can you girls sit? Sit. Look at the youngest one is the best one. Huh? Oh, you're a pretty girl, Kara. No, you guys aren't being good dolls. Kara. Good girl. Nala. Nala, sit. Speak. Speak. Louder. They can't hear you. Rooftop. Kara. Uh uh. Uh uh. Sit. Oh, diamond nose. Sit, Ruth. Thank you. You guys like those? Let's see if the babies like them. Here. Well, I think these are a hit. These are, um, just so you guys know, these are freeze dried. Here, baby. Ooh, those are good. Okay. They like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you those. Let's see if like these. Lex, how are you doing? Good. What are you guys doing over there? Nothing. What do you mean? Because it's awfully quiet. You're not saying nothing. No one's talking. Nobody has any questions. Good. Oh, now I got one. Here it is. Um, did you try the farmer's dog? No, not yet. Um, okay, so since it's pretty quiet on there and I'm just giving them dogs these treats, I want to share a little something that I um, made because obviously it is Thanksgiving coming up. And can you get that ready, Alexis? Yep. Um, as you guys know, we are going to take a few weeks off to enjoy Thanksgiving and to enjoy my birthday because I need a break. Alexis needs a break. My husband needs a break. We need a break. Um, so after today, we'll be off for a few weeks. Um, I might show randomly. I might just pop up and throw the puppies out there, but I'm not going to commit to anything. Um, so I won't be here for Thanksgiving, but I wanted to just tell everybody how much I thank you guys um, for such a great community of supporters and fans and puppy owners and future puppy owners. And so I just um, reached out to a bunch of you and just said, send me some pictures. I got some back. So I made a little quick something just to say thank you. So we're gonna play that real fast. Go for it. When you play it.
Okay. Did you pull it off? No, I'm trying to find the picture that you wanted. Well, I pull it off. <clears throat> so that was for you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do want to share a quick little story. Um, Alexis is going to pull that photo in a second here. So one of our um, waitlist families is in love um, with Tornado, and the husband's name is Dan, and he um, is a comic artist for Marvel and DC, and they drew a, or he drew a comic picture of, of Tornado, yeah. and um it was really sad. It made me and Alexis really, really sad because, can you put it on the side so they could see me? Um, because they did not get awarded him. They're newer on the list. Um, but I wanted to share the picture because I think it's just amazing. Um, and yeah, Tornado's family is gonna love it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share that. So <laughs> that's it, you can take that off. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, any, I saw we had a super something pop up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Fabiana, thank you. It was a sticker. Um, we are going to switch gears. I know you guys want to see other puppies, right? And we have to name puppies. So we had... On Monday, 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 yeah, on Monday, Autumn had her puppies. Um, how many do you guys think she had? Autumn is a red and white mini, and she was bred to trout a gray and white mini. What do you think? No one's saying. Four, four, four. Oh, yeah. Three. Four, three, four, four, three, five, three, 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 <laughs> five, two. Yes, yes, yes. The majority is correct. She had four. Four puppies. Um I I was gonna pull them out and surprise you, but it's too hard with everybody. So I'm, I am gonna bring them out, but that way I don't have to try to cover them all. She had one gray and white boy. One gray and white girl and two black and white girls. So we have three girls, one boy, no reds, even though we could have got reds. Um, and we need to come up with names. And this is the V litter. Don't put them in yet. Don't put them in yet. She's going to make her go crazy. But we have to come up with one boy name, three girl names. And I'm going to grab them right now and show you. And then once you guys see them, then we'll plug in some names. Um, and while you guys are figuring out names, then I will um, grab... <laughs> I will grab uh, Sassy's puppies for you and let you guys see them. Um, I'm going to put it on the floor camera real fast so you guys can see the babies. Uh, really quick, Lindsay said, is the gray boy a light gray? You'll, <laughs> you'll see. see. You'll <laughs> see in a minute. Uh, all right. I got to put these away because Kira's bad. She didn't try and get them. Huh. I already know. All right. Well, are you getting it? Can you do me a favor, babe? Can you, can you grab um, just two, any two of them? Of a bottom's puppy? Yeah. No. Get down. Get down. Get down. Nope. Kira is doing amazingly well. I was going to try to show you guys, but they're all in the way. I'll maybe at the end. Sit. Here, sit. Here, sit. Good girl. They can't see with Ruth's. I know. Back we'll do it in a minute, but I was just killing time so that I didn't have to go out here while, while my husband got the babies. Are you good? Maybe. Oh, can you put it on the floor? That's what I said I was going to do. Yeah. Oh, look at that little baby. I'll sleeping. scoot him over there. <laughs> <laughs> the 
there goes the door. Look at that. Oh, he's like, wait, I was sleeping. Come on, Rose. babies. You guys, they're not yours. Autumn is going to get mad. Look at those baby girls. They're like almost twinsies. <laughs> you guys, leave them. No, no. This is why I don't always have them in here. This one's witty. You got your yeah. tongue out. All right. So that's two girls. All right, now let me get the. Oh, Kira, you're being a good girl. Oh my God, there's two puppies in here. <laughs> you can start putting in your V names. Oh, good. Thank you for letting them know. So, three girls, one boy. V. The letter V is in Victor. And then. You guys like these. They really like these, these cranberry ones. Here, sit. No, sit. Get down. Get down. Oh, I got milk. He's taking breaths. Oh, no. Stop. What? I think my mouse died. <laughs> It's been a day, a day, a day. The the charger's right there. Yeah, but I can't charge it while using it because they're on the bottom. Oh. I'm gonna connect your mouse from your computer. Okay. <laughs> Gavin's lost with all the names and my mouse is stuck. Go, 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 sorry. Guys, okay, stop. Okay. So to answer your question, Lindsay, no. <laughs> there is no light grays. Um, okay, this one is the boy. Okay. If he'll turn the right way. No. <laughs> and the girl. Oh, you switched them. Huh? You switched them, the mice. No, I didn't. Yeah, this one, this one's the one that has the batteries. No, I didn't. Yeah. Okay, that's the babies. Oh my gosh. Little tornado is, put it on the foot one. Can you, or can you not? Oh, they can't see. Hold on, let me turn. Look guys. <laughs> uh, this is why I can't move. I got a baby. Huh, I got a baby. Okay, you can put it back. <laughs> they go back behind my legs and I can't move. Um, Alright, so you're working on V names? Yeah. You got a mouse again? And, oh, you're talking about the one here is switched batteries. Yeah. I thought you meant the one over there was batteries. No, you you switched your mice. Oh my god. Who was that? Kira? I think it yeah, it was Kira. Kira, are you trying to steal the treats? Yeah. Do you want a booger? Do you want a booger? Um No, I'm putting these away. You guys are done. No more treats. Alright, she's still writing names. Or Gavin's yeah, still Gavin. writing names? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get the other babies then. Uh, so, now you guys, while you guys are writing down the names, I'm going to grab, or babe, do you want to? Um, 
help me real fast. Yeah. Lex, put it on the puppy. Put it on the bottom. Oh. All right, hold on. Help me get Sassy's puppies. That is the um. Kira, Kira, I'm watching you. <laughs> she's really, she's like standing oh, on your chair. On the other <laughs> she heard you. Are you trying to get my stuff? A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> it didn't help that when my mouse died, I was, right they were just scrolling through. Oh, yeah. My puppies. Come here. Okay. More babies. You can flip it back. <laughs> okay. Did you flip it? Can you flip it? Uh, there you go. Uh, look at that! We got babies. All right, these are sassy Simba. Remember, sassy Simba puppies. They are getting active. All right, so we have two boys and a girl. I don't remember their names right now. This one's a boy. Remember how we talked about their eye color last week? Look at how blue, definitely blue. And then the little girl, I'm gonna show you the backs of them in a minute because of once my husband comes over here. Hold on, mama, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I forgot a puppy. You mean Gavin? All right, this one's a girl. Can you come here, honey, and hold this one for me? Yeah. Because I want to show them their backs. Hold him for me for a minute, please. Okay, so these two are very similar, but one's a girl, one's a boy. The girl's bigger. This one is the girl. This one is the boy. Very similar, but look at their backs, how cool. They're, they're different because... <laughs> She's swimming, hold on. Um, see how one already has a stripe? And he's growling at me. Are you growling at me? <laughs> so this one right here is the girl, this is the boy. So the girl's lighter. See their sides look pretty close but until you look at their back. She does not like me holding her like that. All right. That's the two lighter grays. Aww. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? Oh, shoot. I put them up to the mic because they were growling. Okay. And then the other one. I'll Good give one. you. I'll give you her. I mean, give me him. And then the last one is a darker boy. So he's a little smaller too. He's the smallest in the litter and darker, but still very blue eyed. <laughs> and then, so these are the two boys. What's the eye color? They're all blue. I don't always say it that early, but these guys are all blue. You can tell really good. Yep, so that's Sassy Simba puppies. So now you could tell the difference on these two. Okay, you wanna hear some? Hold on, I'm okay. trying to show them the backs. All right, can we give them back to their mama? Yeah. Uh, how many weeks? Three. And... Two. I know, I couldn't How big do you think they'll be? I don't know yet. 
I won't know that for sure till another week um, after I have more weights. Come here, baby. Um, but they're not small by any means. When will they be offered to the list? Um, uh, Heather, prob said, Heather said I think they're almost four weeks. Yeah, probably, uh, probably not until... Um, they, they actually, I remember they turned four weeks old on Thanksgiving. Remember that's the litter that's eight weeks old on Christmas Eve, which is a Thursday. Um, and they are four weeks old on Thanksgiving. Um, so they're just barely three weeks old today. So they won't be offered until, um, probably the week after Thanksgiving or the weekend after Thanksgiving. I'm not sure yet. It'll depend on how they develop and if I have time to do a video. Are you ready for some names? Sure. Let's name some babies. Okay. We got a lot, so I'm not gonna say them all. Okay. Just some of them that I liked. Uh, Violet, Venus, oh, Velvet, Vixen, Vex, Viper, Viv, Val, Virgo, uh, Vanya, Vicky, Vivian, Vincent, I'll say some random ones. Um, oh, Vodka was one. Vodka. Uh, <laughs> Vanya, Vesta, Vista. Vintage, vanilla. Vanilla's cute. Valmont, Valor, Victory, Vladimir, Victor. There's a lot. There is a lot. So we have, hey, be nice. Be nice. Mr. Bully. He's a bully. Um, Oh my god, that's a, that's a lot of names. That's hard. I There's really some cute like Viper. ones. Viper's cute. I like Viper for the boy, so I think we should do that one. Okay, well, there's only one boy. Yeah. So. That one's down and easy. Okay. Fine. We'll go with Viper. Um, I really like Vixen. Vixen. What were some of the... Did you list some of your favorites? Yeah, Violet... Viv, Val, Vivian, I gotta clean up these. Um, Velvet. Velvet's cute. I like Velvet, Violet, Vixen, and Viper. Okay. Violet, Velvet, Vixen, and Viper? Yeah. So who's the boy? Viper. Okay. So Vixen's a girl? Yeah. Okay. I'm just asking. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. That works. I, don't mind me. Um, on those pictures with the slideshow, guys, did you guys notice the photo of Sean and Shannon and their puppy room? You want me to pull that one up? Hey, <laughs> pull that up. Sean, Sean, um, Badham. And they don't have a puppy yet. They're on here a lot on the live, um, but they're pretty specific. That's why they don't have a puppy yet. Oops. But they have a puppy room made already. Oh, that is part of it. That is definitely part of it. This is um, her stockpile. <laughs> yeah. So Sean, Sean said not to add anything else to the website because... Um, they don't, I guess she buys everything. Please, <laughs> please don't put anything else on the website. So that is awesome. Puppy is ready. She just has to be born. Or maybe she is born. Oh, maybe. there's, they, he Look. sent a bunch of pictures. Here's oh, I didn't one. see them. I didn't get those. There's another one. Aww. <laughs> Love is a four-legged word. You guys are awesome. Oh, I said, think she's nesting, Sean. I don't even know if they're on. I'm sure he is. <laughs> I'm sure he is. They're always on. Uh, let me find the other one. 
You can get those lids off. Those are cute. So that's yeah, she has their... her own room. Oh, I see they have, uh, the floor looks like ours. I know, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that in the first one. No, I can't if you that. guys have photos um, that we can share on the live, send them to us because I think it's awesome to share things like that, like doing the slideshow and letting everybody see like who Catherine is and who my family is and who all of you guys are and putting faces to the names. It's a lot of fun and um, I love sharing that stuff, but if Alexis can find that other one, that'll be great. If not, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Catherine says she's nesting too. Did you do Violet? Yes. Yeah, we picked Violet. I saw a question. Okay. I'm trying to find the one picture, so don't mind me. I can't. Oh, well, it's fine. We have a lot of questions. I think I saw. Uh, hang on. They see something. Good puppy. Ah, I found puppy. it. Good puppy. Hi, mama. Hi. Okay, here we go. There you go. Look at that. Is that adorable? Their puppy's going to be Pepper. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> I just had to find it. I knew it was on there and I wanted to show it. All right. Back to the question. Nesting, nesting, nesting. Natasha said, glad it's not just me. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Um, what time is it? We have to do this gift stuff soon. It's 7.02, but I don't have very many people. How many people are on? 75. Okay. So we have 75 people and 44 thumbs ups. Come on, peoples. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you don't mind. Uh, Alexis is going to be picking who's going to get the calendar and the mask here shortly. Probably like 720. Yeah, we'll get on 720. 720. So a few more minutes. 15, 17. Um, <laughs> I... Sorry, Tanya said, uh, I'm trying not to get anything yet because of the long wait, but probably going to fail with that soon. <laughs> yeah. It's been quiet. You guys aren't asking a lot of questions. I'm surprised. They're all talking to each other instead. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, I'm going to... Do You don't have questions? No. I thought I saw stuff. You didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> You saw, did you do Violet? You yeah, I did that see one. that, and I answered it. Um, so I was thinking... Thank you, Erica. About what... Well, thank you, Erica. Um, while we wait last minute for these thank gifts... Thank you, Cindy. That we will... Um, I'll give Nala to Eric. Hey, honey, can you take Nala? I'm going to work with Kira a little bit and show them her progress since we have free time. You guys want to see how Kira's doing on her training? I have a question from Liz. She said, I know you're talking about a break, but when are you going to try to breed more? When, when am I going to try and breed more? Yeah. Don't I breed enough? <laughs> um, it's not that I'm, it's not that I'm not breeding guys. It's just that, um, I'm taking a break from the live stream. But not taking a break from my breeding program. It's only a few weeks. It's not anything drastic. And we do get a break from having puppies born a couple of times a year. So I thought I was going to get a break from that. Um, but we just bred Rue. So I might not. So it's not a matter of stopping breeding for a while. It's just... Taking a few weeks off the live, and then that's it. By the way, Sean is on. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, oh, Sue got her mask. Yay. Do we have any new people on? Hi, Kira. You want to work on some training? Thank you, Krista. You want to work on some training? I won't lie. I want to get girl bandanas with cute little ribbon claw outfit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to pull my chair back. 
if these babies stay out of the way. Watch out, baby. Move it. How old is Kira? Um, four months. Almost. I'm lying. Almost four months. Okay. Aww. There should be one over there. I don't know if she pronounces it Andrea or Andrea, but she's new. Oh, yeah. Hi, uh, that's um, Ashley's mom. Oh. Remember, gotcha. that's yes. what she just yes. said a little while ago. Yes. And then, um, where is that? Did you guys hear that ball earlier? It was all rolling over here. Thank you, I Heather. Think, thank you, Heather. I think it glows in the dark. I remember correctly. Huh. <laughs> oh, David said, this is my first time on the live chat. I've watched the videos usually on YouTube. I am enjoying this. Yay! Awesome. Welcome, David. Um, I am going to get her collar on. So remember we talk about with training, I use a very thin leash um, for training. It's usually just loose, but if I need to correct them, I will. And so that'll be on her. Um, I have to watch that right now because I got little puppies in here and they're going to try to pull and come here, come here. Um, so I'm going to get her some food. I do most of my training with kibble and, um, I am going to do that because I work with them a lot and if I gave them a lot of treats, they wouldn't eat their food and of course it's not good for them. Um, so a lot of times I'll buy something a little special when I'm training so it's not just their normal kibble. Um, and so I have some salmon. I think I showed this to you guys last time. Maybe. I don't remember. This is um, from Blue, <clears throat> watch out baby. This is from Blue Buffalo and I found it 50% off and I thought, oh, that's perfect. And so it's Coastal Blend. It really, really smells like fish. So the dogs love it, of course. And oh my gosh, can they see that there, she's being pulled by puppies? Yeah, this probably won't work very well. Come here. I might have to give you guys. Hey, Lex, can you put the puppies over there by my desk? Yeah, I have, I have some questions. Okay. Can you can you just take them because yeah. one Come of them peed and now they're going to pull this. Come here. Hi. Who peed right here? Who did that? Who peed right here? Hi, Lex. Kira's like, they're pulling me. Get them out of here. You gotta give them time. All right, we're going to move the puppies over by my office for a minute so that way I could show you guys how Kira's doing. Um, and she's all waiting for me to eat. Here. She knows you want the food. I know. She smells it. It's in my hand. And I don't want to put it down because she's going to jump and get it. Oh, I didn't even hold them up. Look at that. Look at him. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Oh, like, oh, wow. I should put it on the healthy one. Put it on the low one. <laughs> Let's see if she's... So, I don't remember which one this is. Do you know what their names are? <laughs> he was pulling her leash. All right. Back to the normal. Aw, Kira, you're pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Yvonne. All right. All right. Moving on. Here. Thank you. Okay, so she just knows the basics, but she's learning um, her paw. She knows her paw with one foot, but I want her to be able to rec come here, get out. I want her to recognize that depending on what paw um, I want is what what hand I'm gonna put out. Come here, here come. And so hey, really quick, can I uh, do some of these questions? Yeah. So, okay. Um, can we see the babies in the room up close <laughs> after we just moved them? Yeah, what I'm going to do after this, I'll pull them up. What is the best way to train a puppy that is inseparable from his older brother? Uh, well, you slowly have to get them 
um, alone time. So you're talking like five, 10 minutes at a time, um, several times a day. Um, and of course they're going to cry and they're going to have separation anxiety and you have to just slowly work it into their schedule until they get used to it. It's going to take some time, um, especially if you never separated them to begin with. No. Are we good? No. I don't know what she meant to say. <laughs> a bottle of wine with my super chat. Yes. <laughs> to get, get a bottle of wine. Oh. Buy a bottle of wine. How big will Kira get? Um, she'll be probably a large mini to a small standard. She's almost, she's going to beat, beat uh, the size of Nala here probably before the end of the year. <laughs> Ashley asked, when is Kira going to her forever home? She is at her forever home. She's living here. Hi, huh, you're mama's girl. She's mine. She's mine. Huh, you're mama's girl. Yeah, she does not she does not listen to anybody but me. No. Earlier they were getting her out of here to go potty and she ran over here, went through the other room, went over there, and I came out and I said, Kira, outside, and then she just looked at me and went outside. Huh. You don't listen. But she listens to me. So they know who the pack leader is. That's who they respect. And if they don't respect the other people in the home, they don't listen to them. Um, and so that's what you call a stubborn breed, which is this breed. Huh. You. Uh, so right now, she knows sit very well, obviously. And she'll stay for a very long time. And she knows, like, if I put my hand out, it's so funny. I tell her no, no, no. No. And she eventually, what she's going to see, she won't look at it anymore. Because, no. <laughs> she doesn't want to get tempted. So she's learning no right now. Good girl. Good girl. So that way I could teach her no whenever something drops on the ground um, or leave it, depending on what keyword you use. Um, but she is very food motivated and... Very attentive. Nicole said, please tell Chris this. Haha, ha, Doc is totally attached to me. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So we've been working. Um, she knows down, down. Here we go. Let me scoot back because we got all this stuff in the way. Here we go. Hey, down. 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 All the way down. Good girl. So she knows down and sit. Here, we don't need this one. There's no puppies in here. We don't need this one. So I don't need that on her right now because I already have worked with her. She already walks on a leash. Um, I don't need to correct her. There's no distractions in here. If I was working with her and there was other dogs running around, I would definitely need to have that on. But she's already far enough along where I don't need that. And right now it's more of a distraction for me with her than having it on. So I'm taking it off. Down. Here we go. Here, sit. And now I'm not giving her, sit, sit. I'm not giving her the treat every time. Hey, get up, sit. Oh, you're not gonna do it. You're not getting it. So she's not getting it every single time because then she's gonna start to expect it every single time. And that's not the goal. The goal is for her to learn to obey whenever I ask and not always be rewarded. And sometimes it's just praise like that. And so sit, Paw. Yes, yes, good girl. So right now I'm working on the paw. And so I don't give her just one piece of kibble. I reward her big whenever she does that. Um, but she knows this side, no. She knows this side very well, but she doesn't know that side. So the problem is she wants, every time I put my hand out, she wants to give it to me and I might be trying to correct something. So I'm not giving it to her if I haven't asked for her paw. Paw, yes. Good girl. Good job. That was a good girl. And so we're going to keep going. But now what I want to do is I want to work with um, the other foot. And that's the tricky one right now. She does not know that. And she keeps wanting to give um, the paw on my right, her left. But I don't want. Yeah. Thank you, Sandy. She has a super chat. Okay. 
She said, how old should they be when you start teaching them like this? Sit oh. down, sit, or down, sit, etc. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, right away, I mean, obviously you don't want to overwhelm them, um, but you can start working with them at eight weeks old, especially if they're food motivated. Um, so I really love to do their food um, as part of their training. So morning and nights, she gets her training in every single night unless I'm too busy and somebody else has to feed um, her, but usually every day. So you're gonna start, you should already be starting, eight, nine weeks, definitely. Um, they're sponges and they're gonna pick it up really quickly. And if they respect you and if they wanna please you, um, they're going to learn and do what you ask them to do. Any other questions? Yeah, I have a lot of questions okay. now that we're doing training. All right, go ahead. <laughs> um, this one's from a while ago from Liz. Did you decide what puppy you're going to get from Mississippi? <laughs> no. I ha Liz, I haven't even told anybody about that. That was my secret. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, Jasmine said, I heard this breed is easy to train. Is that true? Um, they can be pretty easy to train but they're also very stubborn. So sometimes it makes it very easy, but sometimes it's very frustrating because they know they're smart. They know what you're asking of them. They choose not to do it. Good girl. Um, because they don't want to. Uh, Sue said, so when I get my puppy, you can come down for a trip to Florida. <laughs> um, speaking of training, and this is part of the reason why I thought, well, if we had time, I would not. Uh -huh. I would do this is um, we had a, um, a trainer from San Diego reach out to us a few days ago. I talked to her on the phone today yeah. and um, she had asked about doing some type of partnership and maybe even um, having a uh, virtual class and even possibly doing some socializing classes together, which I thought would be a lot of fun, especially like if we had local Depends on where the litter goes, but if we had local um, family members with the same litter or even not even the same litter get together, good job, um, and meet up with her and she'll do some socializing and also do some basic obedience. Um, I thought that was pretty reasonable at $30 uh, an hour and so it'd be one hour ses session. So the more we could get, obviously, um, the more worthwhile it would be for her. But I told her that I would do a little more research on her. I asked her to send me um, her credentials and things. She has worked with the Clique High. That's how she found me. Um, so that was also beneficial. But definitely um, would like to help you guys more with the training aspect. I know the basics, but I didn't go to school for this. So I just, <laughs> I don't know a whole lot. I just know what works for me. Um, really quick, since Liz brought up Mississippi, she said, I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love you too. I forgive you. Um, really quick. No. Uh, we have no. quite a bit of questions. Actually. Okay. Um, Tanya no. said, when does a pup become fully potty trained average? No. Uh, good girl. So every pup is different, and it also depends on the home and how consistent you guys are. Um, funny that you guys bring that up because we had one of our puppy owners who, um, they got Jax, Jasper. They got Jasper. They got Jasper, one of Rue's puppies. Um, and they reached out to me or he reached out to me asking, good girl, Kara, about potty training because his pup is now probably close to five or six months now, five months, probably good girl. And, um, he has decided he's not going to potty outside anymore. He's pottying inside. And so after I asked a series of questions, come to find out they're free feeding him. Um, he has free run of the whole downstairs. Um, the kids are responsible for a lot of the potty stuff. Um, and the cleaning agents that he's using are not, um, compatible with getting rid of all of the urine enzymes. And so all of these things compiled is why your puppy is still going potty in the house. Um, so again, it just depends. I'm not asking for your pop uh, on your home, on your situation, on how consistent you are. Um, and 
It could be as early as three to four months. It could be as long as six, seven, eight, nine months because if you guys aren't consistent. All right. Are we good? Yeah, it's 720, but I'm trying to figure this out. All right. I see Tanya's asking puppy from Mississippi. Yeah. Um, so... We have a, um, we sold a couple of dogs to, well, there were puppies at the time, to a new breeder in um, Mississippi. Uh, is it Mississippi? Oh, yeah, it is Mississippi. And I get a puppy back out of that litter. They just had a litter four weeks ago. I get a puppy back out of that litter. There is a gray and white boy that I have decided that's who I'm picking. Um, but... He is Diamond's, he's one of Diamond's, um, the father of that puppy is Diamond's son. Sorry, I just ticked you. So I don't know for sure if I'm going to keep him in my breeding program or not, but he might get offered to the puppy um, waiting list. I have to fly out there, or somebody in this house has to fly out there to pick him up in three and a half weeks. So that's what she's talking about. Are we good? I know you're working on stuff. Uh, I have the next one up here. Okay. You want to read no, it? It's good. Uh, let's see. Lauren, I've experienced the terrible two stage with Draco. Would a little girl have this stage two, but would it be more like a teenage girl than a terrible two? <laughs> <laughs> um, I know it's this call. Thank you. Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. Um, yeah. I... Honestly, I feel like boys are a little oh worse God. when it comes to all of that. Like, boys um, tend to, I don't know, they tend to be more childish and immature and young and goofy and destructive for longer than girls. But they're, they're less stubborn, they're more loving, they're more loyal, they're more... So there's pros and cons to both sides of it. So I'm not sure that um, a girl's going to do the same thing as a boy, but every dog is also different. Hey. Huh? Uh, thank you, Liz. She said, I can fly out and then said, I promise I won't dog nap him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I might be sending you. Oh. oh. Don't worry, Liz. Even if you did, we have yes! your address. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, Ashley said, you're so smart and a good breeder. I love how you go out of your way just to show the pups. I really appreciate you. Oh, uh, thank you. We appreciate you guys, too. I mean, obviously, if we didn't have you guys here, we wouldn't even be doing this. So we appreciate you guys taking time out of your day or your week every single Thursday to hang out with us. So we appreciate you too. So I agree. Catherine agreed. <laughs> thank you guys. Yay. Misha got her calendar. Yay. Um, Yvonne said, what do you think of zoom training because of COVID? Does it work or waste? I don't know. I haven't done it. Um, so I'm not sure if it would work because it is very different, right? Your trainer's not working directly with your dog, but you're still getting the insight from the trainer and their experience and expertise. So I don't think that it's necessarily a bad thing for the training aspect. Now she's getting very impatient. She's being a good girl. Um, but it's not going to help with socializing. So you're not going to get that socializing and somebody else working with your dog and seeing how your dog does. But as far as experience and knowledge, you're gaining that skill. It just depends on how committed you are. Like if you're willing to listen to what the trainer says and what they have to offer you and execute it, then you'll be fine. And as long as you're still getting your pup out and socializing just in your neighborhood even with lockdown, we've talked about this before, even with COVID, even with lockdown, we could still socialize our dogs. It'll be harder, yes, but we could still do it. You're being a good girl. I want that paw though. Man, it's getting hard to pick people whenever yes. we have everybody that's been here a million times. I know. Everybody's one. Not everybody. 
pretty close. I have one. Can I pick one? Yeah. Do you have one picked out for somebody? No. Okay. Um, I would like to give Ashley the, there's two Ashleys, right? So I want you to give Ashley T, the people who sent us the gift. Yeah. She gets one. She gets one? Yeah, Which pick one. one. I don't know. Okay. I don't think she has a calendar. Ashley, do you want a calendar or do you want a mask? There. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Liz said I haven't gotten my Petco gift card yet. Oh, I know. I was <laughs> even at Petco this morning, too, and I forgot. I promise it's on the way. Um, okay. So, Ashley's going to get one of them. If she responds, if she doesn't, just pick one. Mask. Okay, perfect. Yes! Good girl! So right now, because she knows with this paw to give it to me, but this side she doesn't, even if she doesn't give it to me completely, when she lifts it, I am rewarding her. Because that's going to signal to her that that's what I'm looking for. So my treat is in this hand, and this hand is free. And it's usually the other way around, and so that's what she's getting so confused. So she keeps wanting to give me this paw with this hand, but I want that. No. Thank you, Stacy. Back up. Back up. Sit. Paw. Yes! Good girl. So I want her to learn the difference. When I have this paw out, I want this one. And when I have this paw out, I want this one. Yes. Good girl. You're doing good, Mommy. You're doing good. You're doing good. Yeah, you're doing good. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Come here. Sit. So she does pretty good with no. No. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Good girl. Come here. You're blocking the view. You're blocking the view. Any questions? Yeah, but I'm. You're working on I'm stuff. Working on something. Sorry. She's working on something. Who <laughs> is? She's so freaking funny. I don't know why. How old is Kira now? Um, I think you asked that. I think she's close to four months. So, who said they love the glue eye? Tanya. They're, oh, they're all talking, they're all talking about, about puppies. what they want. Yeah. 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 Um, who's Kira's mom and dad? Um... Simba and Siggy. Siggy. Simba and Siggy. Mm. Who's Jasmine? I don't know. <laughs> ah. Oh, uh, and then uh, earlier Liz said, no worries, I can get it when I pick up my puppy, whenever <laughs> that may be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to give it, I have to do it. I tried doing it online and they wouldn't let me, so. Uh-uh. Uh, should we be doing the before feeding? Um, do it as their, tr as their dinner. So do this as their meal. Um, so what I normally do, I normally don't pull it all out of a bag. Normally I have her, um, portion in a, in its own bowl or in a cup. So I know how much to give. A lot of times I'll work with her and Nala together just because Nala's spoiled. Um, but at least I know how much. And their whole meal is is all reward-based. And of course, the older they are, the more they can tolerate longer times. Like, look at how long I've been here with her. And she's not giving up. And she still will stare and look at me. And she still stays right here. An eight-week-old puppy, you can't do that long. Their attention span is not... Um, as long so you're gonna do five to ten minutes but once they're a little older you can go longer and longer so make make the whole meal part of your training okay I have the calendar winner okay Lindsay Marlette okay Lindsay congratulations all right so Lindsay and Ashley we're gonna send those out to you guys pa. no pa. yes so do you see how quick she's picked that up? We've only done it a few times, and she's picking it up rather quickly. Oh. Yes! That's a good girl. Now I want to see if I do my other hand. Will she recognize that I want this paw? So let's see. What paw. size will Kara be? Yes! That's a good girl. You did good. Um, 
Large mini to standard. She'll probably be a standard. Both her pants are standard. She's not tiny. She's so excited. You did good. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, you did so good. Now she also wants to do is give me her paw though. Remember when we taught Nala to, to, to do high five? That's all she wanted to do. Yay. You're it. Like you said sideways, they can't even see your cute little face. No, they can't. They can't. Come here. So see how food motivated she is? Um, oh, nice. Okay. Um, sorry, I was reading a comment. So she's so food motivated that she will just stay right here to get her dinner. She has what? You have my screen. Gavin was asking if you can see my mouse. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Any other questions, guys? Um, did you... That's her, oh, that's her mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> we'll send up, we're going to send Ashley and her mom a mask because Ashley's mom has asthma and because Ashley sent us fan mail. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> okay, you're crazy. We're crazy. How much time? How often what? do you keep a puppy from a litter? Um, usually a couple of times a year. All right, come here. Um. Okay. Are there any odd tricks that you could teach your pup? I mean. There are tons of things you can watch on YouTube and learn to do. I don't, I just do the basics. Uh, for me, it's more about them respecting me and um, obeying when I ask them to do something and knowing who the master is. So that's really all I'm looking for out of it. I don't have enough time in the day to train all of my dogs to be master um, tricksters, <laughs> but they are a pretty intelligent breed and they will pick things up. You can let her in, Biff. David said, I have to get going because I have work in the morning. I really appreciate all your dedication. I just recently filled out the pre wait list <laughs> application. We'll wait however long it takes. Have a great night. Uh, awesome. Thank you, David. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you guys in a few weeks. That's cool. Sit. Um, I know they wanted to see the puppies that I put over there for the um, training. So Nala, for those of you who don't know, um, Nala sit. Nala will speak. She does paw. She gives high five. Now Kira's in the way. When do you plan on opening the wait list again? Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I haven't even thought about that. It, I definitely won't even look at it until after the end of the year. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense right now. There's no reason to add more people whenever I can't even give all of my wonderful people now a puppy, you know? So I'm gonna wait a little while. Nala, come here. Here I know. So another thing I was teaching the girls is their names so that they know, um, come here, Nala, they want to see you. You can't do that. Sit. So they know who gets the treat. So when I put it out in my hand, let's see, they want to go that way. Okay, fine. Come here. Go this way. Come here. Kara, sit. Kara. Oh, she don't want it. So when I put, Nala, sit. When I put my hand out and Kara kept trying to get in, I told her no. And then I would say, Nala, uh-uh. I see what you're doing. I'm trying to go in that bag. Your dinner is done. Sorry, I just scared you. So I want her to know when she can have it and when it's Nala's turn. So when I did this, then I say, Nala, Nala. And Kira wouldn't grab it. Now, Kira 
is good. It's Nala when I just say no that she can't have it. She's she don't care. She mm-hmm. thinks that she could still have it. How long does it take for a dog to learn their name? Speak. 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 Louder. They can't hear you. Louder. Speak. Ah! Good. Um It depends. A couple of weeks. Sometimes sooner. It depends how often you use it. So if you use it all of the time to get their attention for every command, they're going to learn it a lot quicker. Um, So it just depends on how fast you or how often you use that word. But the more you use it, the better. For me, they know their name, but I want her to know that this one is for Nala so she can't have it. And Nala. And so she was doing really good. But this one, no. No. Nala. So notice how she doesn't try to get it. But if I say Kira, she gets it. So she knows that one just doesn't care. Sit. Tanya said, wait, you taught Nala to speak? Wouldn't that cause her to bark all the time? Oh, yeah. It was a big nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> it It's not that she barks all the time, but... She sit. When she wants something, this is what she do. She'll sit, she jumps up to give me high five, and she barks because she doesn't know what I want, or maybe I, I'm not looking for anything, but she thinks I am looking for something, so then she wants to talk all the time. Yes, that is one of the things I had talked about with training sit. Do you regret teaching Nala to speak? Yes. <laughs> it is cute. Don't get me wrong. It's cute, but it's also annoying because... Whenever I'm trying to tell her to do something else, she's constantly barking because I told her to bark. Now she thinks she should always be barking. Constantly. Constantly. Um, But yeah, her and Rue both know how to speak um, on command. Um, Yeah. I don't think I'm teaching any more of that, though. Any hints on discouraging constant barking? My girl is good. She mostly growl talks. But my brother's dog gets obsessed over barking at certain things. <laughs> I mean, we have the same thing. It's, I don't even really have anything other than they need to be tired, well exercised mentally and physically so that they don't um, have that nuisance bark. A lot of it is because they're bored, uh, because they're anxious, because they want something, they want somebody's attention. Um, and so if you try to eliminate all of those things, hopefully that is going to prevent. You guys are done. You've had plenty. So, one Michelle more. Michelle said it doesn't necessarily make them bark all the time. Klaus would howl and say, I love you, but not barking all. Yeah, Klaus has a really cute I love you, um, which is super cute. Um, but yeah. Now, uh, I didn't say you could have it. Keep your ass. All right, that's it. No more dinner. Thank you. Any other questions? What time is it? 7.38. Man, this is awesome. We might be able to get out of here early. I know, after starting late. (laughs) If they let us get out early. You guys going to let us get out early? They're like, no, we're not going to see you for two weeks. Huh. Um, that's all I got, guys. So you tell me what else you got, or are we gonna call it a night, a week, a month? Oh, did they want to see the babies they did? Are they sleeping? Uh yeah. Oh. I was gonna pull up um Sky's puppies up close for you guys, but now they're sleeping. So I guess that's it. When will you be back? Mid-December? Um, yes, probably. So I will be online because I'm crazy, crazy. Me and my husband are both crazy Christmas people. And man, you should have freaking taken a picture. Eric has some. Get it. Eric, Eric, Mm -hmm. baby, can you draw Eric open? So we are crazy Christmas people. We've, we're almost completely done outside um, with decorating. But we have new lights this year. And I'm going to be making a couple of videos on them because they're a pretty new uh, Christmas light. They're called Twinkly. Yes, Twinkly. Um, and 
they are all syncing together. They sync with our music and we can put our logo on there. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun once we get that part of it uploaded, but I will be making a couple of videos on it because they are new and you can't find a lot of information on there. Um, and so I think he has a video too, Lex. He does. I'm going to do both. I have a picture and a video or should I just do a video? Whatever. So I'm going to do some of that and maybe I'll hop on here or there um, with the babies, of course. But I am going to um, for sure be off until the second week of December because the first week of December is my birthday. Um, and then the second week, we kind of are... You're muted. There you go. I play, I'm playing the video so it muted you. So that's the start of it. It's getting there. We haven't gotten anything in the yard yet. Um, but that's one of the designs, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that's it. I think that's the only video we had. I have um, this picture. You're so pretty. At least you can see it all. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, anyways, so we're going to do that. But I'll be off until at least the second week of December. We have an ugly sweater party. I don't know if that's going to end up happening. But we normally do an ugly sweater party every year. If this company, um, if this company, if this governor lets us, I don't know. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> I don't want my electricity to be shut off because I have too many people here. <laughs> Honey, we might get in trouble. All right. How many divisions of colors are there? Oh, there's over 16,000 um, 16, different lights. They're pixels. It's actually LED pixels. Um, so we can do so many cool things with it. Uh, <laughs> you just gave Gavin some numbers. What? You just gave Gavin some numbers. No, I didn't. That's how many colors you can make. Oh, dang. He wrote it down. <laughs> So when we have our party, we have all of these fun um, guessing games and things, and one of them is how many lights we have. And so they thought that I just gave away how many lights we have because I said how many colors. I I'm going to show down. them. I told them there's definitely more than that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I know they wanted to see the puppies. What are we? I see questions there. How about Stone? What about him? I don't know. That's why. Is he sleeping? Is Stone sleeping? They're all sleeping. They're all sleeping. They're not night. I was going to show you, for those of you who care. You might not care like I care. But they have all these presets. Look at. So these are presets. Like, all lights are on right now. So I could literally change everything. Did Eric go out there right now? He's going to be like, what did you do? So this literally looks like a windmill going with these weird colors. You could change it all. You could change any color you want, any design you want. Um, but I'm waiting for the company to get back to me on our logo because on those walls, did you guys see those walls where um, you saw the candy canes flowing? So on those walls, we can put our logo um, or um, dancing click high. So we could put the... We could do a picture of them and the pixels and we can make it like running. So that's going to be fun. We're excited. Um, what else? That's it. My friend wants to know whenever you decide to open the list again, would you accept a payment plan? She wants a puppy but can't afford um, 3500 $3, at once. Yeah, so we have done that on several occasions where um, somebody wants to just pay over time, and that way when the time comes um, for them to get their puppy, they don't have a huge uh, payment. And so that's definitely an option. Um, we just keep track of it. <laughs> Yvonne said, go have that wine. Yay, we can get out of here. It's just a little early. Have, have you ever had puppies had born before? on a holiday? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yep, yeah, we sure have. We've been, um, 
on our way to the emergency on Christmas Eve, too. We've had puppies born on Christmas, on Thanksgiving, on Mother's Day, on Easter, on birthdays, on birthdays. Um, yeah, it's 24/7, 365 days a year, for sure. Uh, OMG, I'm obsessed with your house. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Ashley said her birthday's on December 9th. Ah, uh, when's mine? Wait. December 2nd. December 2nd. So you're a Sagittarius like I am. Huh. Come here, Nolly. <laughs> Gavin said, okay, Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> what? The Sagittarius yeah. part? Yeah. No, yeah. because Kylie's all obsessed yeah, with. she is. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Everybody's saying happy birthday and happy Thanksgiving. Right? Catherine's like, dancing click I would be awesome. So we have a, um, a competition. I guess there's a contest for our community. Um, so we're, we're one of those crazies. It's not done yet. Next time I'll show you guys the video oh. because we light up the light pole. So the street light pole, um, we actually make it a candy cane all the way to the top. So it's a lot of fun. Catherine said her birthday is December 19th, and um, this year we had puppies born on 4th of July. Oh, yeah. We did have puppies born on 4th of July. Wow. Catherine's a December baby, too. What do you want for your birthday? <laughs> me? What did Alexis ask me that, too? Because what she wants, she buys. I don't really know. What um, she wants, she buys. <laughs> So we can't really do anything, and you kind of just guess. <laughs> I, I'm i just happy with anything. For me, I like I told the kids, like I just, the thought that counts, and I like things whenever, I love it whenever they really think about it and make something, or, you know, it's not about how much it costs, it's about the thought, so. One last I'm Christmas, she wanted keychains. Yeah, I wanted keychains. <laughs> Because we have cars, like everyone has a car, and there's all these keys, and you can't identify what's what. So I wanted keychains. Michelle said, okay, I gotta ask, how do you travel travel for holiday with family having that many dogs? We don't. We don't. <laughs> we don't travel. We they, don't go they, anywhere. They come to us, we don't come to them. Um. Yeah, but I mean, we're pretty fortunate. My family's here anyway, so uh, we don't have to go out of state um and i mean to be real my dad's really the only my mom's dead and my brothers live in oklahoma and so i just have my dad <laughs> so they come here anyways <laughs> lauren said i got my mom a stone slab picture with her three kids on it and she loved it she's giving me ideas exactly see those are the cool things yeah i mean I'm good. I'm happy. I just want to be able to spend time with them. And Oh, you yeah. should apply for ABC's A Great Christmas Light Fight. Yeah, that's a good idea, especially when we get the dogs on there. And we have blow-ups. We don't know if we're going to do blow-ups this year, but we have husky blow-up um, that go in the yard normally. So depending on how everything pans out with the logo stuff, we'll see. But... We had, last year, we had the, the ginormous airplane, <laughs> um, Santa in an airplane, and he was flying from the roof to the light pole, and that was a, a pretty cool situation, but this year, since we have new lights, I told my husband, I want the lights to come from the light pole, on the pole, back down to the house with the Santa um, all connected. Jennifer said my birthday is next week and I'll accept a few months being shaved off my weight this time. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we have a lot of December babies. <laughs> Yvonne said what she wants she buys. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's one thing that my dad always said too. My dad always said I was the hardest to buy for. Um, 
because, but for me, honestly, like I don't buy, I'm not the type where like I buy purses or anything like that. What do I buy, Alexis? <laughs> what do I buy? You know what she wanted? She wanted a big giant paper cutter, like one of those straight ones, and it's like $300, so that's too much money to pay for that, so she doesn't want that anymore. We'll use scissors. But I'm realistic. Like, I don't... What She wants keychains. <laughs> she wants a... She wanted a heat press. Realistic. She wanted... <laughs> she wanted a new chair for her lives. Like, see? I mean, I don't buy things like purses and stuff. But you know what she does like? Shoes. I, I do like shoes. That is the only thing that I But can. I already told my husband I want another pair just like this. These ones are my absolute favorite. I do have probably like 30 pairs of tennis shoes. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm simple. It's usually like live streaming stuff. Do you Dog have a cricket? Stuff. Yes, we do. Yeah. We have a cricket. We have a million papers. We have all of the tools. <laughs> we have the press. We have the we have a heat press and the cricket iron. Yeah. <laughs> they got the the whole setup. We Tamara said I'm putting you on blast. <laughs> That's okay. I see how she is, huh? Don't the puppies keep chewing at the laces? They they still look brand new. Yeah, but they don't. They're not messed up at all. Um, they are kind of dirty today, but I wash my shoes every week. Um, and they're very hardy. Like they don't eat through these laces at all. I've never had to replace them. But yeah, they eat them. They chew on them every day. The last few days it was cold yeah. in the morning. Jennifer said I'm not allowed to get presents for a few birthdays and holidays because I joined your wait list for a quick <laughs> That's um, awesome. Yep. Who inspired you to be a breeder? Oh, I was a breeder um, well before Cleek High, so it wasn't even somebody who inspired me. Um, it was just a passion because I was told I couldn't have kids, and so when that happened, I took two dogs. <laughs> um, most people do. Yeah, <laughs> and so I knew that's what I wanted to do, but God had a better plan, and he gave me three amazing kids and three stepchildren. So, yeah, that's my start of the madness. Kika. Her, her grandmother, her great-great, Great, 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 great grandmother. <laughs> yeah, you. All of our house dogs are related to I love the to cherry bond. I love it. I do love the chair. It is super comfy and it spins. <laughs> Those pups are your kids. That, my little Ethan. Ethan's right here. <laughs> I should get you and tackle you. Ethan's doing amazing at school, by the way, guys. Very proud of him. He was in the spelling bee because he made top three and um, he did awesome. I'm proud of him. But he likes to pick on me. And tell you it's only November. But Yvonne, I got the chair at Home Goods. I love it. By the way, it's a Tommy Hilfiger, which was kind of funny. I didn't realize that it was a Tommy chair. Um, I just like that it was white and fuzzy and it spun because obviously with having the puppies in here, I can't scoot it because I don't know who's around, who's behind me. I don't, I have not done BarkBox, Liz. Everybody saw you. Congratulations, Ethan. Good job. He disappeared. Oh, he's right, oh, he's there. right there. Thank you. He said thank you. My little Sparty pants. <laughs> All right. Well. I'm guessing, I mean, we could keep chatting if you guys are good, but if not. Can we see the babies since we won't see them? And oh, home? my God. Which babies? They want us to wake up the babies. Yep. Which babies? Catherine. Can we see the babies since we won't see them? Okay, fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but just hand them to me one at a time, please. Yeah. Um, and then, um, they or don't two. Have, they don't have a bed. Okay. Just, you know. Yeah, it's fine. They're not going to stay in there right now anyway. They want to see Stone. 
Oh gosh, my little goofball. Yeah, just give them to me one at a time, but I'm not going to leave them in here because they're going to go back over there so they can potty over there. Look at how pretty Kira is, guys. Isn't she pretty? Do you notice how she changed all her color? Uh, Scott said, oh. Olivia, Poppy loves the Kika stuffed dog. She uses it as a pillow to sleep. Yeah, that is so cute. They love that toy. I'm assuming part of it is because that is the toy they play with a lot here, so they're so used to it. Oh, I won't. I, 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 Ashley said, please, I want to see throw. thunder. Okay. Let's see. You guys all know Goofball. Look at him. He's He still doesn't have his ear up. What's up with that? Huh? <laughs> you guys are not going to imagine how big he is. He's so big. I know. Who's getting him? Um, oh, my gosh. I have Drew Blank. But he's a love. Oh, he is such a sweetheart. Everybody loves him, but he's a bully. He picked on the little babies, but they they hold their own now. They learn. Look at that monster of a kid. A monster. How much does he weigh? Take a guess. <laughs> Take a guess. Like, okay, imagine a baby in your arms. <laughs> he's just a little husky. Yeah, he's just a little husky, all right? He's... He looks like a... Full-grown husky. Yeah, he looks like a husky puppy. He is, what was he like, six pounds? They said six pounds, six and a half, six, yeah, he's, seven, six, seven, he's six, ten. Six, <laughs> not ten, thank God. But he is six pounds. He is starting to lose his puppy fat, and he is moving a lot more, but, yeah, he's a porker. Huh. All right, moving on. You guys want to see the other ones, huh? He was six. I think he's. He was seven. almost seven. Yeah. Almost seven. I have to, I don't know. It's written down over there. But he is a big boy, but he has very pretty eyes. Look at how pretty his eyes are. Let's see if it'll focus on his eyes. Do you see that, guys? A light brown. Look at, do you see how hazily? I'm trying to look to see where I'm supposed to put him. <laughs> Let me see his other one. They're so pretty. He has very pretty eyes. There. See that color? He's all pretty. He's like, what are you doing to me? Everybody loves him. He's so cute. You goofball. All right. Do you guys have another puppy for me? No. <laughs> I thought you guys were going to have him lined up for well, me. I, I am supposed to be running things. Ethan's supposed to help me back. <laughs> yeah. They're getting them. They're getting the other ones. Huh. All right. You ready? Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Okay. I'll give you him back. Um, all right. My, my little baby. Lauren said he looks like a husky stuffed like toy you can win at the fair, LOL. Yeah. Here's our little bitty baby. They were sleeping, so you guys have to deal with their little sleepy eyes. Look at them. He's like, I was asleep. Um, sorry, buddy. Everybody loves our little kitty. I know. We call him a kitty. Doesn't he have little cat ears? He is or a cat. cat. He, we think he's a kitty cat. He is a cat. Huh. Was you sleeping? Was you sleeping? I saw him. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, everybody's going to wake up and give kisses. All right, let's see. I I don't remember. I don't have their folder. <laughs> this was who? Their folders are over there. I don't know. This is the second lightest one. But you got to look over there. Quit looking at Ethan. <laughs> yeah, Ethan's got to move. Oh, that was cute. He was cute. Okay. And then, oh, we know his name. This is Thor. Right, Lex? Yeah, our little bitty. <laughs> our tiny, tiny is Thor. Thank Hold you, on. Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, happy Thanksgiving to you, too. He's so tiny, I can't even get his head in the picture. <laughs> you got to wake up, Papa. Wake up. They want to see you. You got to wake up. 
Oh my God, you're a doll. Look at you, you cutie buddy. Still on my feet. My two littles, look at how much bigger they are now. Quit putting your head up. He always puts his head up at the light. My little babies. <laughs> I feel like it's bright. Okay, two more, right? Yeah. All right, take these guys. Yeah, thank you. Uh oh, it's eight o'clock. The last two. Um, Lauren said stone weighs almost as much as when I got Draco at eight weeks. Yeah, I know. We're worried he's big. He's a big boy. I mean, we knew he was a big boy, but here, let me see. Last one. All right, well, I'll use these two to say goodbye. Um, and then our little baby girl. Draco. Yeah. I don't know. Um, what did you say? I don't know how they say it. Draco, Draco. Yeah, I think Draco. Um, well, I want to wish you guys a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Thank you guys again. Hey, for... really quick. Yeah. Before we say bye. Oh. <laughs> Tanya said we'll still be over 17 and a half. He might. There's a possibility, which is kind of crazy because his mom's a toy. His dad's a mini. <laughs> Yeah, you just never know what you're going to get these days. I mean, with this breed in general, we can't guarantee anything. So we just give you the best estimate based on our experience. But there's throwbacks once in a while for sure. Lindsay said, I hate when I'm waiting to get the puppy offers, but I love when you wait until they're just a little older to see them a little more. Yeah, I like it a little better too. Um, I always did it at four weeks, but just because being so busy and not having enough time or if we have puppies that aren't like as active it's kind of a boring video if they're not as active they are licking all of the smell of the food from Nala and Dira off of my hands mm -hmm. they're like wow this is yummy huh. all right okay we're ready now well thank you guys again happy happy holidays we will see you in a few weeks and of course I'll pop on here once in a while and say hi until next time bye